what's up y'all um so i want to hop on here and chime in on this um h&m issue you know i've often heard people say on threads like um you know do you think we can <laughs> chew gum and walk at the same time and here's the answer no generally we cannot generally humans are very singular in their thinking and they can't think about two things at one time and that's frustrating to me so here's the deal first of all big ups to this beautiful little black girl you know part of this national marketing campaign is awesome it's beautiful and i'm excited for her and she is beautiful you know with her regular black girl hair being a black girl um period you know, and I think we need to be able to put a period at the end of that sentence as uh, Yaba Blay says, period, pretty period. She's pretty, period. She's beautiful and that's an achievement, period. Next sentence. <laughs> um, the, because of the history of white marketers and white media and their lack of care to black folks or to the need to know how to um to style us to light us to um to in any way engage us as full humans through the media there is a necessary critique in this and a, a reasonable question you know like i think sometimes we forget the history of racism that is embedded in the media like literally um the film and photography was created only to capture white skin. Like, literally, the history of Kodak is white supremacy. Um, and so, uh, you know, I don't even, I just remember, what was that, a year ago when they had that black girl on TV on Good Morning America or whatever TV show that was? And they, you know, and the white lady called herself giving her hair, doing her hair, and it was horrible. <laughs> And everybody was like, and she was like, wow, like she did it and it was terrible. And then there was a makeup artist who also did some black girl's makeup and it was terrible, right? And so there is a real experience of having um, white media and mainstream media um, ignore the needs and care of black bodies while using black bodies to amass profit. That's not non-existent. And so it's a fair critique to say, that it looks like someone made no real efforts to question whether or not they made the appropriate efforts to style this child appropriately for this campaign. Now, I don't, I don't know what the artistic vision was in the fullness of the campaign. I read someplace else that all the kids' hair was messy. Cool, right? If that's an intentional t choice, but I think it's not unrealistic. First and foremost to ask H&M very intentionally, because there was a way that they could have made her hair look messy and still look like like she sat in somebody's chair and prepped for a shoot. There's a way to do that, to do both. And a, and a person who is skilled in black hair care could have done that, right? And so I think that there is both. Um, there is both. Yes, I saw my friend Amber um, Amber Abundance, uh, you know, was like, this is, how, you know, how black girls look like underneath these weaves. And absolutely, 100%. Um, but this isn't a take your weave off campaign. <laughs> this is a, it's a clothing campaign. Um, and right now we're talking about this little black girl's hair. And I think it's important for black people to be looking at our anti-blackness, right, in the presentation and our critique of this child. Like, if we are talking about her negatively, if we are name-calling her, right, that there's an anti internalized anti-blackness and an internalized shame about our own hair that we absolutely need to look at, while also being able to call out um, these media campaigns for not tending to or caring for or prioritizing the care of our black bodies when using them for profit. These are two things that can exist at the same time. And both of those things need to be in this conversation. And if we're not talking about both of them, we're missing it. We're missing both the opportunity to interrogate our own internalized racism and the opportunity to continue to critique 
the way in which white supremacist ideology permeates our media and marketing machines and disregards the care of black bodies. Both of those things need to be talked about. So those are my thoughts.